Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for round 4 for season 3 for the Monaco Grand Prix. The last episode we were in another street track in Miami. If you haven't watched that, make sure to check that out. We had a very good race there, very entertaining. But coming to Monaco, with it being one of my stronger tracks on the Formula 1 calendar, as we round the final corner and up to the line in our first lap, puts us P4, but there's a lot of time on the table. As we did go for another lap. As you can see here, we've got so much got so much time in the first sector but Latifi decides to park it in front of us but as we skip on then to the end of qualifying we didn't obviously didn't improve on number we had to stop because of Latifi being very annoying but as we go into the final part of the lap now I'm just giving the wall on the outside a little kiss nearly losing it though to go round the swimming pool and we have found a lot of time we are purple in that middle sector and now as we round the final corner the final rush to the line we cross the line and it's gonna be pole position for the monaco grand prix it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session brown lines up on pole position and lando norris lines up alongside Considering the rest of the grid we have Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Sir Lewis Hamilton and Russell, Verstappen, Magnussen, Albon and Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Guan Yu Zhou and Schwartzman, Ocon, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty, Nicholas Latifi and Carlos Sainz, Oscar Piastri, and Sergio Perez completes our grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So we're starting on pole for the very first time in our Formula 1 career on F122. It's a normal one stop, medium to hard. Can we win our first race of the season? It's lights out and away we go and we've had an absolute shock although we always even need bin it into the barrier. So much wheels then, Lando goes through and into the lead, we just about keep the Alpine of Fernando Alonso behind us as we go up the hill and round the, sh the casino then and we head towards Mirabeau but look at the gap Lando has already due to that bad start for us and now we go into the lines hairpin and the best camera angle on the entire Formula 1 calendar Nothing rivals this as everyone comes flooding through. And Carlos Sainz taking a penalty down at the back. And the Red Bull of Perez. So they both had shockers. Once we skip on to lap 6. And this slowly became your typical Monaco Grand Prix. We couldn't live with Lando's pace. But we were just keeping Alonso behind at jabbing distance we can make this McLaren as wide as we possibly can because it's Monaco and you can see the gap there five and a half seconds to Lando he was an absolute bullet in this race as we skip all the way on to lap 17 for our one and only stop we missed time though we drive through a Ferrari mechanic put on the hard tyres and come out and Alpine have beat us out that's not good Alonso is beating us out of the pits, we're going to have to do some serious overtaking now as we exit the pits and he's ghosted! And we've ghosted through Fernando Alonso and that's just saved our bacon! God knows what just happened there. The game has had a bit of a nightmare there and has gifted me back P2. I mean I'm not complaining, that's that's given us one less headache because that was getting very that could have been very messy for us but we come out of the pits and Alonso just goes and we were able to drive straight through him and keep our P2 bit dodgy there as Lando gets in and out into the lead of the Grand Prix now this is George Russell 
coming close though with us as we were heating up our tyres to beating us out and it's a good job the game did lag and let us through because look George has beaten out Alonso and we would have been behind both of them but as now Carlos Sainz comes through the chicane and through Portier now through and he's pulling off Carlos Sainz the championship leader and the driver who looked like he could do nothing wrong is out of the Grand Prix Lando Norris wins the Grand Prix and we are going to come round the final corner to get our first podium of the season and it's a McLaren one too I think they were able to set themselves apart today I feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field Look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race for the McLaren team, and I'm very happy to see them there on the top step of the podium. It's the first non-Ferrari and Carlos Sainz winner of the season. Well done Lando Norris. Could not live with him today. He was so quick out there. We came home to make it a McLaren one too. First time this season that Ferrari A haven't won and B are not on the podium. Charles Leclerc P4, obviously Sainz being out of it. And also for the first time, I think in this career mode, it's an all British podium of Lando, me and George. That result means that Sites' lead in the championship has been sliced by 10 points down to 14. And there's just a handful of drivers still yet to score this season. Red Bull's very poor day. They have gone from second in the Constructors' Championship all the way down to sixth. As we jump them, so do Alpine, so do Mercedes. So it was a bit of your typical Monaco Grand Prix. We had a bit of drama with that glitch that ended up saving us in the end. But I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll have a more entertaining race in Canada in the next video when we head there. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in Montreal.